Hi, my name is Dave Ingalls. We're going to do the third part of this series of videos on magnetic circuits with nonlinear materials. In the previous video, we derived the load line, and we're going to show how you can use that now. So here's an example with numbers of a simple core. The material will be the same as the previous as the, is in the first example, and that's hyperco. Here's the BH curve in a linear plot for that material. Remember, the purpose of the load line method is to try to find intercepts for a linear equation that will give us the intercept and the operating point. So, some formulas from the last equation were, here's our load line is defined by its intercepts. There's B and H. The y-intercept is given by n i mu naught over the length of the gap. And it's the magnetic field if the core had zero reluctance. In this case, 64 times 3, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 over 5 e minus 4. And that is 0 0.48 Tesla. The x-intercept is given by ni over the length of the core. And this is the h-field if the core had no gap in it, or the gap was 0. Here we have 64 times 3 in ampere terms per meter over 0 0.16. And that is equal to 1,200 ampere turns per meter. So we simply go to our curve, our BH curve, and put these values on. 1,200, 1,000, 1250, so it's going to be just in front of this one. The y-intercept of 0.48, approximately there. Take a straight edge. That was 0.48. We get an operating point around. If we do this on a computer, which we can blow it up, we'll get a slightly more precise answer. But the intersection is approximately 0 0.42 Tesla. So that's it. If you can get these numbers for this type of problem, it's pretty straightforward.